rainy night here at Richie Knuckles Arcade. Here to give you guys a walkthrough of the arcade. So here we are in my arcade in Flemington, New Jersey. This is what I like to call Richie Knuckles 1.0. What we're looking at here is a Space Invaders. It is one of my favorite pieces I have. It is a Japanese version by Taytronics. We all know by Tato. And it's in really, really nice shape. I want to thank my buddy Todd Tucky. Todd Tucky from TNT Amusements hooked me up with this bad boy. And then over here we have our dual multicades. The multicades are running the Phoenix Arcade boards which have quite a few games and the menu is a lot superior to any other multicades that you find out there. There's tons and tons of games on these. As you can see we have two. Brand new. Squeaky clean. Then over here we have the original Kong off Donkey Kong. We take all of our Donkey Kongs and recap the monitor, replace the flyback, and make the Donkey Kong look like brand new. As you can see, a beautiful Donkey Kong. And then over here we have Pleiades. Pleiades is not a very popular game, but it is still one of my favorites. If anyone has seen the movie The Bishop of Battle would remember the scene where JJ battles them in Pleiades. It's a great game. It's my Rebo Man poster. So I'm going to give you guys a short walkthrough of the arcade and show you around. When no one's here, I can give you guys a, uh, a mini tour. So this is the front row, right when you first walk in the shop. If we look over to the right, this is the north wall. And right here we have a beautiful Defender. The control panel was signed by Eugene Jarvis, a good friend of ours. And over here we have an original Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair is running the original Dragon's Lair laser disc player. A lot of other places use computers and a an emulator called Daphne. Then over here we have our Berserk. This is a famous Berserk slash Frenzy machine. Right now it's running the J-Rock Multi Frenzy Berserk kit. But this is actually the Berserk machine, Frenzy machine, where Joe West, my buddy Joe West, broke the world record for Frenzy on this very machine, the Frenzy machine, slash Berserk. All right, over here we have Cosmic Avenger. Cosmic Avenger is a lot like Scramble. There's two reasons why the Cosmic Avenger is in the arcade. Is One, because my buddy Ed, Ed the Human Kill Screen, is gunning for the world record on this machine. And number two, the artwork is just amazing. Then over here we have a Budweiser Tapper. A fun game. A lot of people like this game. And next to that, we have a punch out. Punch out is new to the arcade. We haven't had a punch out in quite a long time. As you can see, really nice control panel. Monitors recapped and bright. And then next to that, we have Stalker, which Stalker is one of my favorites. Then we have a versus the Goonies. Versus the Goonies with a topper the cardboard topper that came with some of the Versus games. We swap out our Versus cabinet every once in a while. We swap out and we put in uh, Super Mario Brothers or Versus Ice Climber or uh, many other games that were in the Versus series. Usually we have the Versus Goonies though. Okay, this is my Space Invaders Deluxe. 
by Space Invaders Deluxe has the chip in it that lets you play a whole mess of different games Space Invaders, Space Invaders Deluxe, Lunar Rescue, and one of my favorites, Space Laser Space Laser is a lot of fun I recently got a pretty high score, me and George, my buddy George Lutz and Ed were playing, I got 25 to 20 and then over here we got Tutankham Tutankham was a stern game then over here we have the staple Ms. Pac-Man. Then over here we have the Star Wars cockpit. Above the Star Wars cockpit is the very guitar that Billy Mitchell played the guitar solo in Pac-Man Fever by Buckner and Knuckle Sandwich. And as we make our way around the corner, we have a Zaxxon, and then a Street Fighter II. This is our JAMA cabinet. We swap a lot of different games in and out of the Street Fighter II JAMA cabinet. The game of the month this month is Street Fighter. Then here we have a Terminator 2. That's my band, Knuckle Sandwich. And then right here we have one of the most popular games in the arcade currently is the new Metallica Pinball. The new Metallica Pinball is, in my opinion, a lot of fun. We are saving up for the Wizard of Oz. Right here is a hook pinball. Again, a very fun pinball machine. So continuing on, Right here we have a Neo Geo. The Neo Geo is running a multi-cart, so there's hundreds and hundreds of games. Here we have a Pole Position 2. Look at this dashboard. Have you ever seen a dashboard with no cigarette burns before? And right here we have a Cheyenne. The multi-exity kit has a whole mess of games in it. All of the games like you got Cheyenne, you got Combat, you got Chiller. Scroll through. Let's see Chiller. Sean Howlett, one of our locals, has the world record on Chiller here. Then we have uh, Junior Pac-Man. Then we have Elevator Action. Elevator Action is running the Multi-Tato board, which has Bubble Bobble, Elevator Action, Jungle Hunt, Puzzle Bobble Kicks, Home Mesa Game, Zookeeper. Zookeeper is a fun one. Then the classic Asteroids. Got a beautiful Outrun Mini, and then just got in this gorgeous Major Havoc. Then we have our pinball row. In our pinball row, we have an old school gridiron, Harley Davidson, Buck Rogers, Robocop. And Cleopatra. And again, like we have a uh, center island. And in the center island, this is one of the most detailed restorations I've ever done. This is our scramble. Zach Lubo was with me when we picked it up. He'd uh, attest to how crazy destroyed this game was when we got it. Here we have a beautiful Marble Madness. If anyone's seen the movie Wreck-It Ralph, let's see Fix-It Felix Jr. And over here we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in a showcase cabinet. Here we have 
That beautiful millipede. One of my personal favorites, Space Fury. So, a creature for my amusement. Prepare for battle. <laughs> then we got a Robotron, two Richie Knuckles. Uppercut MF, Eugene Jarvis. As you can see, I'm a Eugene Jarvis fan. And then it has a uh, Multi Williams kit. In the Multi Williams kit, it comes with Joust, Moon Patrol, Robotron, Splat, Stargate, Bubbles, Defender, and Joust. So there's a nice little tour of our arcade. I think I got everything. I'll show you around some of the uh, banners. That's the original Kong off. Our is completed. Got a Qbert trash can. One of Billy's ties. Almost a good stuff. We got a. Uh, Original Kong off poster. King of Arcades movie poster. Here's a banner for the Kong off 2. My buddy Steve Wagner gave me this poster. A lot of this stuff that adorned the walls of Richie Knuckles Arcades are stuff that were given to me from my friends in the arcade world. That's our web show, arcadeculture.com. Over here is a very, uh, obscure poster. This is the first ClassicArcadeGaming.com contest that Billy Mitchell made the poster for. Over here we have some track and field new old stock screens. There's a centipede poster my buddy Sam Miller gave to me. There's an original Twin Galaxies poster number one. Well here are two great movie posters for two great movies. Space Invaders in Search of Lost Time and soon to be released Man vs. Snake. Keith Abigary. My good buddy Andy O'Neill gave me this. My best buddy George Lutz's poster. Right when we first opened, we had this game room article done. Look how little faith he was there. It's a movie poster for the art of video games, for which I got kicked out of. There's a good bumper sticker. I competed in the 2009 Classic Arcade Gaming Tournament. All I got is this bumper sticker. This is the pole position contest for my uh, California stream visit that I did. This is a Kong off two marquee. There's the scene from Wreck It Ralph where Qbert had his game unplugged. Skinny Miller. There's a great movie right there. The video craze. My good buddy Dave Danzera. It's a picture my buddy uh, Scott Zeiser took of my old arcade. It's the Tron off. That was a great event. There's the movie poster for the video craze right there. New old stock Donkey Kong art. This is my Twin Galaxies poster. So to recap, here's one last walkthrough of the entire arcade. The 80s, Donkey Kong, two of the multicades running the Phoenix Arcade board, a Tato Space Invaders, Defender, Dragon's Lair, Berserk, Frenzy, Cosmic Avenger, Tapper, 
Punch Out, Stalker versus the Goonies, Space Invaders Deluxe, Tutankham, Ms. Pac Man, Star Wars Cockpit. Zaxxon, Street Fighter 2, Terminator 2, Metallica Pin, Hook Pin, Neo Geo, Pole Position 2, Cheyenne, Junior Pack, Elevator Action, Asteroids, Outrun, Major Havoc, Robotron, Space Fury, Millipede, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Fix It Felix Jr., Marble Madness, Scramble, Cleopatra, Robocop, Buck Rogers, Harley Davidson, Gridiron. And I believe you guys got a good idea of what's in the arcade in Flemington, New Jersey. Here's a good shot of the movie poster that Billy Mitchell sent me out of his now closed King of Kong arcade in the Orlando airport. It's also a good shot of the Berserk. How beautiful the Berserk came out. Alright, I think that's everything, peeps. Play one game of stalker before we leave. Good night.